name is Joan Kramer. I take care of the native plant garden at Potawatomi Park near the river. It's a wonderful place. Please come visit sometime. Do you have a problem in your yard where you can't get grass to grow? Maybe that's a place to think about putting sedges. There are many sedges that lend themselves to that and if they're planted closely together, they would be your lawn and it can be cared for and cut like your lawn is. And it makes sense because the roots of sedges are very deep. The turf grass roots are very, very shallow and that's why we lose our grass when it gets really wet. Today I'd like to talk to you about Carex gray eye, common burr sedge. It grows 24 to 36 inches tall. It's my favorite sedge because of the interesting seed heads that re resemble a medieval mace. This interesting seed head makes it a great home garden flower or use it in a border and it's also great to bring in as a cut flower or used in dried arrangements. The fruits of this plant remain on the plant in the winter, giving it a winter interest also. This sedge would do best in your yard in moist, fertile soil, but it will tolerate light shade. It thrives near water and it tolerates flooding. So if you've got a really wet area and nothing will grow there, this is a great sedge to put there. It also makes it a great sedge to use if you're thinking about a rain garden. Carex gray eye forms attractive, slowly spreading clumps to form colonies. It looks great in a mass planting. And it will make people ask you, what is that plant? What is that that looks like that? So if you've got a wet, shady niche that you don't know what to put there, try Carex gray eye. It just might work for you. Mm -hmm.